Welcome back to DLC. Today we'll be continuing my playthrough of Life is Strange. I hope you enjoy. I feel like I should. Oh, phone. Oh, snooze. <laughs> snooze. <laughs> Might as well snooze it. Lord knows that's what I do. Really hoping this music isn't just going to get me copyright struck, but, you know, the time machine. Are, are you reading books about, like, time travel now? Is she, like, she, I mean, it's only been a day. Presumably this game takes, yeah, so the five episodes take place over the five days. So, hmm. Exploring to Oh my god, yeah, she literally is. Life is Strange, episode two. Out of time. Oh, wait, maybe she can. Maybe she can just, like, rewind time and, like, just take all the time to, like, read the books and stuff. So what if, like, she's been doing that and she's, like, starting to remember tons of stuff because she's been, like, reading books and, like, she just, like, all of a sudden she's, like, super smart or whatever. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> nice shirt. <laughs> I don't even know what that shirt is, but it's got like little chickens on it. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. Okay, so she has been doing it. Oh, actually, let's see. Maybe the guitar. Maybe she's like extra good at guitar now. She playing along with it? I think she's playing along with it. It'll be interesting to see if she like it gets a uh, I don't know. She gets she gets progressively better at everything. Like, oh, is that the shower caddy? Yep, it's the shower cat. Oh god, I'm having too many freaking memories. <sighs> too many dang memories. Oh my god, I want the music to keep playing, but it's like, no, we're gonna stop it. Just in case it's like, oh! You gotta, you know, you're gonna get That's a copyright struck. Yeah, 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 okay, I've already seen that. Is there anything I missed? Oh, water. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Alright then, Kate. Or not Kate, uh, Max, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, water the plant. That action will have consequences. <laughs> now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Yeah. Time tape. Oh, wait, what is this? Mrs. Hoida is still out oh. sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Oh. Poor thing. Oh, so Monday, world history, algebra, language of photography. So you don't have... Oh, okay, so... Alright, interesting. Alright. Uh... <clears throat> English AP, sad face. English AP, I don't know what the cross-out is, but... Um... Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. Uh... I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Oh, okay. Interesting. Thing. All right, look at the plant, laptop. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Oh my gosh. See, is that Doctor Who? Hold up a second. Oh, okay. So he's just, so she's been talking to him about like time travel and stuff, I guess. Did she tell him? Huh. Oh, shit. Sorry. Hey, Max. Doctor is in the house. I'm thinking long and hard about your weird request. Request. I sent you a bunch of physics and science links, and without further ado, here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send more as they come to mind. The doctor expects a full explanation for your newfound chrono interest. The Time Machine, 1960 version. Uh, fun, early steampunk sci-fi, and Morlock's faces melt. <laughs> Primer. 
Lo-fi time travelers in Dallas. Brilliant. I'll explain it to you after you watch it. Time after time, H.G. Wells used a time machine to chase Jack the Ripper to modern-day San Francisco. Super cool and clever. Pulp Fiction, seriously. The switching between timelines gives a good basic outline of relativity. Plus Uma. <laughs> Somewhere in time, big cult around this romantic sci-fi written by Richard Matheson. Best kind of chick flick, you cry like a baby. I did. Time slip, you can borrow my copy of this awesome Japanese flick, or we can watch it together. Wink, wink. <laughs> so, uh, Sonny Chiba and his soldiers end up back in samurai days. Basically tanks versus ninjas. Time Cop. John claude Van Damme does the splits on the kitchen counter in his underwear. And need I say more? That's all the time I have now, as I do have actual quantum physics to plow through. And not your fun Back to the Future homework that I never get. Now that you've discovered the art of science, I expect, you, expect to see you in the lab more as well. I could always use a new partner in time get it don't hit i'm leaving <laughs> doctor who ha ha all right this warren guy come on man uh, come on max this this you know this warren this guy so likes insane. you it sounds logical to me time travel is not just a science fiction history has recorded numerous cases of individuals who have managed to bend all the rules of the time space continuum the present dilemma is that those who can navigate temporal dimensions are rightly reluctant to reveal themselves to the impact of public and government scrutiny. Nations around the world have spent literally billions of dollars trying to build and top secret their own version of a time machine. Thankfully, this is not a case where infinite revenue equals control of the infinite. Or you might not be reading this website at all. This is where the chrononauts enter the picture. It's clear based on the, sci on the vast scientific information that time... Uh, that time travel is only applicable on a person-by-person -person basis, not driven nor dominated by any one particular physics or thermodynamic calibration. For this reason, we've created a forum where past, present, and future time travelers can share tips, ideas, and experiences to guide those navigating the rocky seas of time, hence our moniker, the Chrononauts. <laughs> Brave, solitary adventurers on an infinite voyage. Register within the forum and step into a river of time without fear of being swept away. Wow. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever Apparently had. Apparently these people think they can time travel, but do they actually time travel? A term lazily over-exploited in science and science fiction. From, for neophytes, visualize a wormhole like an invisible tunnel from one end of space to another. Thus, if wormholes exist, time travel is possible and probable. The human trick is to discover the means or device needed to link and traverse both ends of this time tunnel. Einstein's theory of relativity posits that this is within the realm of theory, while a new generation of physicists hopes to develop an actual working model of this fascinating space-time conundrum. Inside wormhole, are links and articles, rel yeah, okay. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? <laughs> Why are quantum physicists trying to control time? Right, as you read these words, physicists and scientists around the world are using taxpayer-funded government programs to shatter our notions of time and space, potentially altering the course of history itself. For example, Australian researchers are using photons to simulate quantum particles as they travel through time itself. Even though quantum time mechanics is a very recent theory first predicted in 91, it has caught fire within the scientific community who eliminated ethics and morality for their dangerous experiments. Wow. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Bring it, Blackwell bloodsuckers. Next to prom night and big football, my favorite time of year is the annual Ghoul Days Black Halloween party. <laughs> Prince of Wales has given us almost carte blanche to decorate the halls and gym with thin taste and safety, so I want every student to be scared shitless when they walk to their classes. I know you all have tons of homework, as I do, but let's make this a Halloween that Blackwell will never forget. The decoration committee meets in the gym at 3.30 next Wednesday, October 10th. This gives you plenty of time to not have any excuses for flaking. And if you don't show up to help me haunt the halls, the boogeyman will get you. Let's show Blackwell a ghoul power. Pleasant screams. <laughs> meets next Wednesday, October 10th. That is, uh... Okay. Let's say the date on it one day ago. Oh. Take a note. I can't keep my eyes open. 
but I know there's a scientific answer. Time is like a river. <laughs> My head hurts after longer after longer rewind and thinking about this now. Take a giant step backwards from mankind. Schrodinger's cat could exist in two different timeline time zones. Hello, time kitty. Laws are can obviously be broken, so no rules, only guidelines. Burn your clock. Amount of time. I oh my god. Man, she's just gonna go crazy, isn't she? <clears throat> she literally is just rewinding time. Like she just man, imagine that though. Oh god. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? <laughs> All right, then. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Oh, God, there's so many texts. Don't be, do not be late or on no time is not on your side. <laughs> That's funny. You there, have you, What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or yeah, have you gone to time to figure it out? I can't go back that far, smartass. I need your help. <laughs> like when you told Septork it was your weed. But for reals... For reals, we need to talk. Or eat an ass buster breakfast at Two Whales by Treat. Sold. It's good to have minions. Gotta bail. Master... You know, breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always there, always for you. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. No emoji. Sad face. Meet me at diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late or no time. Do, don't get high like in my room <laughs> on my way. You are evil. 40 minutes or else. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. And I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Okay. Ooh, message from Victoria. By the way, thanks, but <laughs> we're not friends. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. So I got a... What's up, Max? Hey, I'm busy right now. I'll talk to you later. It's Dr. Graham in the house. Serious science question. I make house calls for you. What up, pup? Puts on serious science face. <laughs> well, you know about relativity, wormholes, and time travel. So now I'm Dr. Who or Doc Brown. For what class? I never got any cool time science homework, and I know this shit. Like, like time... My texts are infinite, plus I have unlimited messaging. I'll make you a list of essential books and websites and movies. I'm intrigued by your new interest in science. You know I like sci-fi, just think hard about it, okay? <laughs> if you have any time, if you have any other questions, I'll be in the TARDIS getting my DeLorean ready. This dude's awesome! Or th this, this kid is, like, dope. Like, he's such a cool guy. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. Sorry. Ask. I'm so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Hmm. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ooh. Cartier Bresson, Bruno, Hamilton, the greatest. <laughs> Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, ah. summer camp. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. 
Holden, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, considered it done. The marks of Satan. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Ooh. I keep helping her. She's going to find out the secret. So should I not do that? Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Hmm. Everyone's up in the morning. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. <laughs> That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch war. <laughs> uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. Huh? It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Contraceptive pills. Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. <laughs> Curiosity killed the Max. Rollerblades. Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my teeth just putting them on. <laughs> that is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Gosh. I had to speak to them. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary, Sexton, Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing 
yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Mac. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Everyone knows. Everyone knows about him. Let's try it again real Kate quick. Is an early bird. She might be up and gone. No brook here. <laughs> Did Max actually draw that? Gosh. Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall, not her room. <laughs> Go away. People are leaving. Clearly <laughs> not a morning person. Welcome to Black. Oh, okay. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. What happens if I knock on Victoria's door? Fine, I won't disturb you. Hmm. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Hmm. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? <laughs> back to the future looper groundhog day yeah it's got to be back to the future i mean looper's pretty good it's just like you know classics i love back to the future of course but who doesn't can you imagine going back in time to blackwell in the 1980s we'd suffocate from all the hairspray you and warren do know your sci-fi be careful you might make brooke jealous i'll just pretend i have no idea what you mean mm hmm Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Oh, God. People in the shower, I guess. Yeah, all right. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Mm. 
After my shower, I'll bring her book back and that'll be a good excuse for us to chat. Maybe just talking with a friend will help her feel better? Otter power? I'm so not there. Hmm. Shower scene, okay, blah, blah, blah. Unless there's going to be some, like, reverse time in the shower. <laughs> you didn't clean. <laughs> What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. You should have been able to wash that paint off by now. It's we been a whole night. Away. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> oh, God. Is there any reason for being this mean? I mean... Yeah, I could have just completely messed with her yesterday, but, like... I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Mm-hmm. Hello? Water? Sorry. You use the That's sink. Bizarre. Does that really affect the shower? I need to I need to get dressed before I go there. Mm. No fucking way. Well, it's in the shower for like five minutes. Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. My god. The hell? I get rich kids are scum, but I get the whole rich kid, like, you know, scummy personality crap, but like this is literally like her like straight up just fucking violent harassment. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. <laughs> Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. 
Now I have to wonder if any of these films yep. are based on a true story. <laughs> Wait, camera? This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Let's take another selfie. Take your power seriously. Warren is blowing up. This is yeah, just yeah. Him. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not okay. looking around here. I can't like search. Okay, I guess I can't watch that video. I don't know. I was just curious to see if like you could because you saw the link. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he Amen. couldn't even rewind time. <laughs> and he couldn't even rewind time. Ooh, it's a deer shirt. Interesting now because of the deer she saw. Now I back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. A private... Oh, crap. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. That's fun. <clears throat> Let me guess. It's Nathan. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already, no brook here. Kate, you in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. These stores really need to have locks on them, man. <laughs> Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Under well, certain code principles for some party video concerns about sending you seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you. I will pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Wow. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Hmm. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Bible. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. Huh. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Come to me, all you weary and burdened, I will give you rest. When justice is done, it brings joy to the to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Rabbit! That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mom. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. Hmm. I had 
no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Oh, I mean, hey, at least they're. At least she has something. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and. Ouch. She left out amnation. No spirit devil could prepare me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your heart image for God's eye. I pray prayers for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. That's fun. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Mm. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Hmm. Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of a vortex club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? Do you know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. Ugh. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I, I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Okay. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Go to the police or look for proof? Oh, God. <sighs> Oh. A 
apparently, according to this freaking Nathan douche, they own the police, so... It's like... What happens if I say look for proof? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Hmm. I was hoping he would. Kate, I actually... Well, he's a total... Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. Hmm. Do you know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. It doesn't sound... I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. I swear to God, I... Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and... Did somebody drug you? I remember... Go on. Then they... Nathan. He was being. He's the. All I recall is. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And. Hmm. And. And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Jesus, Kate. How do I get a viral... Kate? So, Max... Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Mm. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Hi. 
Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Ah. Uh. <laughs> This is horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. All of the... Uh, they know the... Uh, I'm so nervous. Should I tell her to go to the cops? If I tell her to go to the cops, you know, she's been getting death threats. She's getting a death threat now. Rich and powerful family. They go to the if they go to the cops immediately could have problems. If they go to the cops with evidence, I'm gonna go with find proof. Because if they have proof, it means that they can, you know, it means that they have to take her seriously. But you know, like. You know, obviously, it's still like, oh, why shouldn't they go now? It's like, yeah, but I'm gonna go back and do that. All right, let's do this then. Let's do it. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth, yeah, of course she's telling the truth, but like Why did she cover up the mirror? Uh, she can't look at herself? Alright. <clears throat> Max, food. Too well see there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Gay breakfast. No emoji. <laughs> it's not emojis, though. It's text. It's still text. It's not actually emoji. Really, Max? What? I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Oh my god. <laughs> These are good. Alright. Alright, well. Let's do it. Let's just keep going. Keep chugging along. This game is interesting. And I'm worried about my decisions. But I want to keep going. Oh, there's the, the janitor guy. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. 
That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there, except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak <laughs> snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. Weird. It's interesting that he speaks to me in the third person. I don't know if that's just a character thing or, you know, it's relevant. I don't know. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. I don't know why I did that, but... Take care, Max. And keep listening to the animals. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. All right. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Hmm. Kate's video, Victoria. Never mind. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's <coughs> bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. Mm. We've had our talk. Ooh. Interesting. So what do I do with that information? Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I don't want to fight. You're funny. Oh. Never mind, Taylor. That was a great talk, Max. Let's not do it again. Now, if you'll excuse me. Rewind that again. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me, like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. You're know, tearing down. That's why I want Kate. To talk. I'm glad we did. I mean, you're tearing down Kate, so maybe don't tear down Kate. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. There it is again. Nathan's father, this is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student of Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Great. Great to know. My father will hear about this. Well, hello yes, there. Check it out. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, 
Thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. <laughs> You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Hell yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Heck yes. Come on, man. I want freaking... I, I like these two. They're cute. They're super freaking cute, all right? They get along so well. I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. Ooh. I'll text you later. Warren is out and about already, too. I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies oh, instead. Oh, is this like I'll a thing between him and Brooke? Interesting. All right. Did I get everything? Oh, I don't want to rewind time. I think I did everything correct here, so... I don't want what's his fate. I don't want Warren getting involved. He doesn't need to know anything. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. Hmm. Is that the whole opening, or is that I just took forever on the opening again? Alright, well, they locked in my choices, so. <laughs> there is no E. That's what I meant. Yeah. How do you do? <laughs> Sign. Okay. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Looks like the same place. <laughs> oh, there's the lighthouse. I think I should look over the journal. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Uh, 
I don't know. It runs pretty regularly. I cannot miss this job interview. But I've got to take the bus out of Arcadia Bay to Newport just to find work. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, oh. good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. You can't have my lottery ticket. Buy your own. <laughs> Running late, uh, no emoji. <laughs> Running late, grab booth diner, mom will feed you. Somebody better. You're lucky if you make it by noon. Oh. Save our city. Fisherman. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. And the man made drought in the bay. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. <laughs> Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. <laughs> Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. R.J. McCready. Nope, I don't want to go there. <laughs> I wonder if they explained that snow. Snow? Well, that's a good start to the story. Newspapers are going to be retro soon. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is <laughs> snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <clears throat> snow was odd. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the northwest. <clears throat> snow happens. Oh, of course, he's seeing. reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. <laughs> Weirdo. I don't want to go that way. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. Yeah, the graphics look nice. I've gone Camera through the same scene. changes yeah. as the town. What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. On your left. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless. But Arcadia Bay is still my home. 
Joyce Price. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She she's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Mm-hmm. Married to a real prick. <laughs> Even she knows. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job. Oh, once. get a job. Of course. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their <laughs> way. Of course it is. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Mm -hmm. Almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. Well, definitely getting some interesting information. We are going to continue on and actually go forward with the plot and go into the diner, like I should have done 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Bacon and eggs, only five ninety five. Old fashioned service. Or is there anything else I could do? Anything else I could search? I'm just looking for everything. I'm such a freaking like in this game. This game, you know, there's definitely probably completionist. What the heck? Hole to another universe. Okay then. RV. Can I draw? Is that a pupper? Stop that. Stop. No barking. Oh, I want to pet the pupper, though. I can't There's pet the dog. creepy about that guy and his dog. Ooh. Wait, maybe I can get him a treat or something. Can I get him a treat? Do I have to draw on the RV? There's that dirty RV from the other day. Oh, I didn't write on it. This was the RV that apparently I did not write on, but I had the option to. Wait a minute. Have I seen this truck before? I feel like I saw this truck. Uh, but... Do we have a snack? Do we have, like, food I could give the dog? I didn't see anything, but I mean, I'm real tempted. I'm real tempted to just like, all right, let's try again. No barkies. There's nothing I can give him. I mean, at least as far as I can tell. The guy is, I don't know, whatever. Let's just go. Maybe I'll have a snack from inside here and we'll be able to like, smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Aww. Now let me mourn over my eggs. <laughs> Weird lady. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Canadian? <laughs> Oh, man. I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Yeah, probably. Why does that so not sound fun? So the poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Oh, yeah. Bathroom. Kate Marsh, love you long to... What the hell? Flush before pissing on floor. <laughs> that graffiti has been here forever. Kate Marsh, love you long to what the hell? Gross. Gross. Rachel A owes me BJ. So does your mom. Okay. Deer. I keep seeing the deer everywhere, and I've got the deer on my shirt. What is happening with this deer? <laughs> Arcadia Gay. Thank you, redneck poet. <laughs> Arcadia Gay sucks dick. <laughs> That's not supposed to be a bee, is it? You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Kitty cat! I see a kitty. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Let All me right. Suffer quietly. 
I'm sorry, I'm a very social person. I like interacting with things. <laughs> can I sit in this booth? Or I can sit in this booth? No, I can only sit in that booth. Uh, can I go up here yet? Or, nope. Drool. Want everything. Yeah, they all look tasty. I got, got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Banjo tune, guitar tune. <laughs> Did I hit the right button? I don't know if I like that. <laughs> uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like <laughs> you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every noon. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. I don't know why I talked to this guy. It just seems like a jackass. Alright, well, let's just go sit down then. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. He's a piece of shit, yeah, but okay. I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call... Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Mm. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Mm. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, oh, running God. away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, <laughs> piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. I mean, you kidding me? You did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. Yeah, but it doesn't he give him does the... Care about uh, her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He still treats people like shit. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. 
Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Ooh, bacon omelet or Belgian waffle. Chat, what do I choose? Because, you know, if it was a regular old omelet with, like, no bacon in it, you know, that would be, that'd be risky. But, you know, that... That wouldn't be great. But with a Belgian waffle up against it? No. But bacon omelet doesn't sound half bad. Honestly, though, no, I'm going for a waffle. Because waffles are fucking delicious. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Jesus, sassy. Now finish your coffee. <laughs> I look One around. Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle is twelve o'clock hot. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Lol. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Crab cakes. Crab cakes are a side. Five dollar side, I guess. Wow. And they must be small crab cakes. Breakfast cheeseburger, starfish pancakes. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. <laughs> Likes coffee. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Mm -hmm. Incoming. Anything I can do? More drink. Incoming. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> you still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Ooh. Keys. Oh, shit, the gun. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh. Razor blade keychain, bullet, bullet keychain. That's a bullet necklace, skull keychain. 
a skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Cigarettes. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. What was it? Cigarettes. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. What is that? A panda bear? Panda bear, cigarettes, some coins, a parking ticket. Okay. Right, hello. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? I was supposed to know that! Thirteen cigarettes. I smoke too much to have thirteen cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pocket. Damn it! <laughs> Okay, Max. I was so supposed to remember that detail. Really okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Three quarters, six pennies, and a nickel. A panda bear keychain. And a parking ticket. Franklin Street. Okay. Seven cigarettes, panda keychain, three quarters, six pennies, and a nickel. Parking, per parking, out of parking bay. Okay. All right. Got to remember all this. Got to remember it. Got to remember it. <laughs> so this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Penguin pixel art panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Supermax. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Three quarters, six pennies, and a nickel. So 75 cents, so 81 cents, 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But... What is the exact time? Shit, I was it was ten thirty one or ten thirty four. Ten thirty four a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Amaze balls! I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where's my partner? 
You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Cup drop that. Okay. So what are you waiting for? All right. There it is. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Joyce drops her plate. No, cops drops his glass. Trevor drops his glass. Trucker drops his mug. Trevor drops his the mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Miller on cops radio and he leaves and he answers and he eats a donut and his partner leaves. Miller on cops radio and he leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight, and Joy beats them. Joy stops them. Joy doesn't care. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And Jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it as it violet butterfly as a trucker plays a new song. Oh, I missed that. The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Kind of. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No oh. refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? I think dick. not, Slap Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. A roach. It was a roach. Okay. I missed the roach. I did not see that. I'm going to predict. Alright. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops. So what happened? Okay, alert on cops radio. Alert on cops radio, and his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. And Trevor fight. Joy beats them. Joyce doesn't care. Joy stops. Justin them. and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh, jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on the it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But... Oh, I did it perfectly, so it didn't... Okay. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, really? Go, no refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? <laughs> you can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Use Too the power to... See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave.
Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. There's places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? Biatch. I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Ooh. I'm gonna answer. Or for hey, now. Kate, Let's just see what it's up? like. Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Try it again, see what the argument was all about. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Later, Mom. Bye, Joyce. Freedom! I feel bad about Kate. She'll survive you not taking that one call. Now follow me, young Squire Max, so we can seriously tap your power and rule the world. I hope Kate doesn't get upset that I didn't answer. Is there any way to find out what they argued about, or is it just like... I got you, babe? <laughs> How apropos, but no fucking way. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Yeah, Justin's right here. <laughs> What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't hmm. even answer. There's places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. I'm gonna answer, because I'm worried about Kate. It's hey, just... Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? I don't know what the argument was about, but I just want to listen. Thanks, Max. I, 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 I worry about Kate. Kate. Please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. 
I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Leave the diner. Can I talk to her or No, I can't. It's weird that I can't. You'd think I'd be able to like talk to her real quick, but hmm. Alright, let's just do it. Gotta make my choices, gotta live with them. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked what you saw, make sure to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button for more gaming, podcast, and voice impressions content, and I will see you in the next one.